So this is the No Texting While Driving app. It responds to text um, and sends back a, a response, kind of like an answer machine for text. Okay, and, and what I want to do is talk about UI because right now, I, you know, the UI is 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 pretty ugly. We haven't done anything to make things look better. And I'm not going to make it look beautiful, but I'll give you some pointers on how to make it better. And the first thing I want to do is really I want to make it so this input form, you know, where the user enters their response message, I only want it to appear when the user clicks an edit button. Okay. So I don't want it kind of out here all the time. You know, you'll click edit and then you'll be able to, to edit the thing. Okay, so we're going to need a new button. And I'm just going to drag this guy in. And I'm going to call this edit button. And this is just the button that when the user clicks it, um, it's going to open up this input form. Okay, so that's that's what we want. Okay, and, and the text for it is just going to say, for now, say edit. You know, we'll, we'll put a picture later of a little like a little pin, like a little edit icon, but for now I'll just say edit, okay? So next thing I want to do is I want to line these guys up, right? So right now everything's just going straight down vertically, but you do have these layout components, and one's called horizontal arrangement. I'm going to drag it out, and this will allow me to kind of package these guys together so they show up on one line. Okay, you'll notice now my message and the edit button will show up on, on the on the same line. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for right below here for my input form. I'm going to stick the text box and the submit button in there so that they all show up on the same on the same line. Okay. Um, so horizontal arrangements are nice for just kind of organizing things. And they're also nice because we want this whole thing not to appear when the when things start. Okay. So we want this input form to be invisible to start. All right, so I don't have to do both these objects. I just need to make this this horizontal arrangement be invisible. I'm going to rename it first, just so we know it's ta we're talking about the horizontal, and I'm just going to call it input form. Okay, and we're going to want that guy to be hidden to start. Okay, so. The horizontal arrangement is hidden. You'll notice it doesn't show up now. Notice I've got this checkbox check, display hidden components in viewer. So as I'm developing, I can still see these guys. And, and when I mark this as hidden, all I'm saying is when the app starts, those two objects will not appear. Or actually, this whole arrangement will not appear. Okay. So now we've got to do the code to make it so when the user clicks the edit button, the input form does, does appear. So I'm going to go to the blocks and edit button and when the edit button is clicked all right what we want is the horizontal input form we want it to become visible okay so I'm gonna set its visible property to true all right so cool so when the user touches the edit button that that input form will appear and then when they actually submit something we kinda of wanna hide that guy right so we kind of want to do the opposite, so it goes away once they submitted something. So I'm just going to say set horizontal form to false. All right, so I think we're getting there. Let's let's see if this works. So I've got my app projecting on the screen, as you can see. I'm going to touch the edit button, and you'll notice the input form form comes up. So I'll just put some uh, message in here. So the user types in busy. Now I'm going to touch submit. Okay, and in fact, my message appears, the edit button appears next to it, and you'll notice the input form went away, which is exactly what I want. If I hit edit again, it comes back. All right, so kind of the general thing is, in your designer, you can make things so they're hidden to start, right, by setting uh, the visible property. And you can do it to a component directly or package those components and do it to a whole arrangement. All right. And then in your blocks editor, you just got to put the blocks in to make sure you make, you know, hide and, and make them visible when, when you want that to, that to happen.